Welcome to BaseNet Intermedia, a special edition of the Hollywood Backlot. I'm Jessica Moskowitz. I'm actually in uh, Berkeley, California, and my guest is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and her name is Elena De Toro, and she is the founder and uh, co-owner, or you're actually the owner of... Yes, it's uh, all me. I do everything. It's all you. You do everything. JustMoviePosters.com. So That's Elena right. uh, has joined us today, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her business, uh, her website, and, um, and uh, what she's got going on. So uh, Elena, tell me a little bit about uh, your website. You're a, you're a movie poster enthusiast. You sell movie posters on your website. That's um, correct. You started the site in 2000, is that correct? Yes, exactly. Actually, it was January 3rd. As soon as all the craziness about Y2K was over, I thought, okay, I can start a website now. <laughs> And uh, what was your inspiration for the business? Well, believe it or not, it was house cleaning. Over the summer, I finally cleaned out all the childhood doodads, you know, Star Wars trading cards for episode one, for episode four, which is really the first movie if you're of a certain age, yeah. and also Charlie's Angels trading cards with Farrah Fawcett. I mean, little like Tonka cars, even a slide roller. And it was, there wasn't time for a yard sale, so I was like, oh, well, just sell it on the internet and let's see what happens. And it was very surprising. I was like, wow, people want this stuff. And I thought to myself, well, gee, you know, video places, movie theaters, they have movie posters. How about I try selling those on the internet? And I did, and they sold. And I thought, well, why don't you put up a website? And I did, and now here's JustMoviePosters.com. Awesome. So, so obviously, just movie posters. Um, yes. And you're obviously um, an enthusiast, an enthusiast of movies because I also know that you have a blog and you write about uh, film and, and movies, both older movies, new movies, all kinds of current events going on in the film industry. Yes. Um, but what 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 is your love of movie posters? Why why movie posters specifically? Well, I always love going to the movies, and so I figured, well, gee, other people must love going to the movies, too. Plus, as you know, back in college, all the cool folks in the dorms had the movie posters. So I yep, figured, yep. Well, what the heck? You know, how about I sell them? What was the first movie poster you sold online? Well, I got a bunch from a video rental place. Uh, the most memorable one in that bunch was a Brendan Fraser film called Blast from the Past where he plays this uh, kid whose parents, you know, built a bunker during the Cuban Missile Crisis and they never came out for like 30 years. I remember, Christopher Walken was the father. And uh, that was very, I actually sold it, <coughs> started selling it for like $7, and these two people kept bidding back and forth for it. And it actually went up to 25 What's your favorite movie poster? And then tell me why. Well, I like... Uh, the Pearl Harbor triptych. That's the one where it's like three posters, but they're all tied together by uh, planes coming in. Maybe you're some familiar with what I'm think talking yeah, about. Yep, yep. And I also really like Avatar because I love the simplicity of it. Yeah. It's just uh, the, the per, uh, like half of the person's face and you know just a little bit of the background of Pandora. Where do you get your posters from? Where do you source them from? Well, I'm all over. I go to, well, what used to be video rental stores, but, you know, there are a few holdouts, but, you know, eventually I, they'll go, but also movie theaters and also sometimes friends as they're going to the movies and they see stuff, they'll pick it up for me. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So you have an inventory uh, at home or do you kind of just... Yes, I oh. have it at home. It's all at home. Do you, do you have a collection yourself at home? Well, I did set aside a few for myself. One is Avatar, and the other two are The Bridges of Madison County and The Message in a Bottle, because I'm also a writer, and it's always nice to see authors have their books put on film. That's great. That's great. Okay. So you do have a few up at home. That's wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Um, so um, I want to talk a little bit about your blog now. So tell me a little bit about some of your, uh, some of your posts. What have your, your most recent posts been about? Well... Actually, two recent posts were about successful movie franchises, and I did it part one and part two. Mm -hmm. In the in the spirit of successful movie franchises, because you know one, well two, and also because there are a lot of successful movie franchises, and I couldn't put it all in one blog. 
And I started with, you know, the Bond films and ended with Pirates of the Caribbean. And also another a blog entry was actually sort of a, a warning to people uh, who like to, you know, collect movie posters to be on the lookout because there, unfortunately, there are a lot of people selling you know, fake movie posters as the real thing. Oh, and, wow. In fact, someone in Georgia was actually indicted on mail fraud charges for he actually created these movie posters and was selling them as you know, original posters, and they weren't. They were reproductions. They were so reproductions. I basically put up like, like a warning to you know, like, you know, ask questions of the seller, and uh, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Mm -hmm. I read one of your blog posts, um, I think it was a couple of months ago, you were talking about, um, you were actually defending movie posters, and a lot of people were saying that, uh, you know, they're not necessarily good collector's items. So tell me a little bit about, you know, your business is, is based on selling them, so do you think uh, there are, there's a market out there for people to collect movie posters where there'll actually be some value to them in the future? Well, for the most part, I don't recommend that people collect for investment purposes because, you know, currently no one knows what's going to be valuable and what's going to be considered junk. And, like, case in point, take uh, Citizen Kane. Mm -hmm. If that movie came out, it bombed. And, like, pretty much it kind of ended Orson Welles' career. Yeah. Because he remarked that he started at the top and went to the bottom. But, no, that now that's considered one of the... The, the gems of yeah. American cinema and the movie poster is very valuable but let's say you were an usher at the time Citizen Kane came out and the, the movie manager said okay we could take these posters down you could throw them out I mean how many like people probably said to themselves oh I had Citizen Kane in my hand and I threw it out yeah yeah and now it's on all the top lists of the best movies of all time you'd never yes. know who would have known Yes, exactly. So that's really the reason why I recommend people don't buy for investment purposes. But if, but I do recommend that people buy for enjoyment purposes. I mean, if a certain movie gives you has great memories for you, and you see the poster, I say grab it. So what about you? Told me your your favorite movie posters. Let's get a little bit critical. What what uh, uh, it, what movie posters do you not like? Is there one that you can kind of say like, oh, that 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 was just the, the worst. Well, recently, the teaser posters for X-Men First Class. I saw those posters on the internet, and I thought, this is terrible. I mean, this is just a Photoshop job. I mean, I could have done something better. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on the internet, fan-created movie posters that are very minimalistic. Mm -hmm. Basically, just one graphic. And I think, you know, the people at uh, Universal probably saw that, and they thought, well, gee, let's do a minimalistic poster. Yeah. But it didn't work. What What are some exciting things people can see on your website in the future? What do you Do you have any plans for the future of your website in terms of uh, posters to sell or promotions or anything like that coming up? Oh, well, I urge everyone to visit my website early and often because I'm always getting something new. And whenever I get something new, I post it on the home page of my website. And there's a link to the section as to where it is. It's listed alphabetically. Uh, and also in different sections, I sell one-sheet posters. Those are the, the traditional movie posters. They're 27 by 40. I also sell mini posters. They're either uh, 11 by 17 or 13 by 19. Also some odd sizes, which are all sorts of dimensions. And the dimensions are listed in the, uh, on the web page. And so just basically check back early and often because... I'm always getting new stuff, and so one of these days I could have something that you're looking for. Oh, that's great. Well, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us, Elena, and uh, I just want to make sure that everybody knows how to reach you and get to your website. Twitter, Facebook, I mean, if you have any questions, you're looking for a particular movie poster, contact me there. Also, send me an email at okay. info, I-N-F-O, at justmovieposters.com. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alina, and good luck with your business. You're a successful entrepreneur, and uh, I look forward to uh, checking out your site some more and maybe ordering a movie poster for myself. Oh, please do. Um, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Seven. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thank you very much, Alina, and thanks for joining us on the Hollywood Backlot Special Edition today.